All you need is love, love. All you need is love. All you need is one node. All you need is one node. Okay, guys, I'm going to spare you my terrible singing skills. Let's cut the crap, okay? Because today I want to talk to you about why all you need is one node when grading. I'm going to show you why. So this is a project I've actually graded a while ago with my buddies um, Paps Fortes and Matthias Zivanovic, the DOP and director. And it was it was cool, uh, nice little kind of a editorial project. Um, and I'm going to go through the process with you in order to basically grade with one node if we can. I'm going to try and demonstrate that to you. So, okay, so this was shot in Panasonic Vlog. And okay, so just to show you my project settings, I am in um, DaVinci Y RGB. My timeline color space is set to DaVinci Y Gamma DaVinci Intermediate. And all these shots are within the same group, okay, which I have called Panasonic, okay. And in the group pre-clip, I am transforming from Panasonic V Gamut Vlog to DaVinci Wide Gamut DaVinci Intermediate. So this is my clip level grade. And in my timeline, I have a CST, which is transforming from DaVinci Wide Gamut to Rec 709 Gamma 24. Okay, so I have now a proper conversion. So if I bypass the grade, this is the log state of the image. And this is the Rec 709 conversion. And our grading is going to happen right before our conversion to Rec 709, okay? So let's have a bit of fun today, okay? So the Rec 709 conversion is a bit flat, usually. Um, but this is what we want because that allows us to and part like more contrast, more preferential color and mapping and stuff like that. So th that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to uh, prepend a node here. So right before my conversion to Rec 709, and I'm going to drop my contrast preset. And there's actually this point here is locked on middle gray, so this doesn't move. So ideally when I add contrast, it's basically around middle gray. If you don't have this sort of like power grade that I have, you can count the little um, columns here. So there's usually nine, I think it's in the ninth um, column here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's say, I don't know, you're grading somewhere else, you're not at home with your, all your paragraphs and stuff like that, you just count the little squares and it's in the ninth, in the, mil, in the middle of the ninth square uh, as a memo, okay? So there you go. So we're flat here, uh, I think. I think we're flat. So I'm gonna pop open my curves and yeah, okay just so you can see guys what's happening. And I'm going to add a bit of contrast here. Okay. All right, so there's more contrast. I think I'm gonna go into my clip level grade. I'm going to, come on. I'm going to lower my exposure like that. Uh, here in that shot, lower my exposure as well a bit, okay, so that it's coherent, I think, yeah, cool, it is, and yeah, so more contrast, obviously, I like that, okay, more contrast, with a nice looking S curve, 
Okay, there you go. Simple contrast. Cool. Now I'm not so happy with like the color balance. I think so. I'm gonna prepend a node here. I'm gonna call that balance. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go into my HDR tab and I'm going to, cause I feel it's a bit like reddish. Yeah, so that the skin is a bit more flattering. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that. I think it looks better. So let's say that I'm happy with that. Okay, cool, right? Uh, and for fun, I'm gonna like add a serial node and add a bit of uh, warmth in my highlights um, and a bit of red because I like red. Yeah, okay, cool. I think I'm liking that. So this is without the split, this is with the split. Let's call the node split. And hey, you know what? In terms of like saturation, I want to go down. So I'm going to prepend the node right before my contrast node. I'm going to call this node sat. And I'm going to go into my sat versus sat. Gonna grab this point and drop it. So this is these are my highest saturations. These are my least um, saturated areas. Okay, so I'm gonna just like do that. So it's more, mostly affecting my highest saturations, and it's going to clean the skin a little bit actually. So this is before. This is after before after and uh yeah looking good and before that i'm going to compress the skin vector a little bit because i think it's a little bit disgraceful it's not looking the nicest so i'm gonna pop open my color warper go in hsp log and yeah, so I'm gonna grab this branch, click here, to select the whole branch, grab the hue and just rotate it counterclockwise. Yeah, and grab this branch and rotate it clockwise. And my vector scope is going to compress a little bit in that area uh, and it's going to make the skin look a little bit better, I think. Uh, let's call that, I don't know, skin. Cool. Right, so that is my look. I'm happy with the look. Yeah, I'm happy with the look, okay? So this is the Rex 709, this is a look. Okay? And we can jump to this shot as well, which is, should be the, the should be uh, similar. Yeah, so let's say we're happy with that, cool, okay. Now, I mentioned all you need is one note. Oh, I want more contrast on this, come on. I need more contrast. Yeah, let's go, let's go like, bit more heavy here yeah I like that cool and by the way in my previous video I mentioned that you don't really need to buy plugins or DCTLs and, and stuff like that to create a look and this is what I'm doing here right uh, you can you can manage it's it's all right it's fine so that was an exposure note you know what I'm gonna grab a still of that. So I'm not gonna grab a still. Cool. So now if I go to, for example, this shot, I can play my still. Yeah. Okay. So 
we match it's fine here it's a little bit different okay so one node why do i only need one node one node the thing is if i have a look that is working for all the shots in my timeline that is that is being designed for all the shots then hopefully if the look was well designed the only thing that i need is one node for grading and that is going to yield the best results because this is your look that's your look which is doing the heavy lifting so what do i need here let's expose up a little bit before after before after cool okay and maybe add a bit of contrast Yeah, okay, I like it. I'm gonna add a touch more green as well. Uh, yeah. One node, okay? It just helps balancing the shot. And I like the warmth. It's pretty nice. Like, really kind of like vintage -y look, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's tackle this one. So let's again, uh, HDR tab, expose up. Uh, let's actually match. I'm looking at my vec um, at my parade. Okay, the luminance is matching. Cool, but the balance isn't. So I'm gonna try and nail that. So yeah, it's greener. Um, now it's better. Didn't need too much. Okay, this is good. Yeah. Okay, so this is why all you need is one node. I'm gonna go to this one again. Feels a bit red to my eye. Yeah, okay. I'm liking that. And actually, primary, let's bump up my contrast a little bit with my wheels here okay liking that cool yeah yeah that's nice that's a nice vintagey looking great i like it and that's without the look that's with the look that's without with the look so i'm doing all the heavy lifting with my look here and at the clip level grade all i need is one node here that's my aim sometimes i might need a power window or use a, a secondary or something like that but yeah that's the goal really okay so one node you know what, like this is going to be my ref, because I love it. And this will go down in exposure. Actually, yeah, my node was off. Um, no, it's fine. It's actually nice. Yeah. I like it. And let's say I want to change the balance. Um, so let's go a bit warmer so you embrace that vintagey feel oh yeah yeah okay i'm sold on this um let's paste the grade here yeah cool okay a bit more contrast Yeah, okay. Uh, 
let's paste it cool all right so without my look with the look without with cool one node yeah one node all right guys so that was a bit of freestyling for me here and i enjoyed it that's pretty cool. Obviously, you can add tons of things on at a timeline level. You can add some grain. You can add whatever you fancy on the day and whatever is pleasing the filmmakers, right? And that what is addressing the, the creative intent, what is elevating the vision for, for the, the project, really. So, yeah. And if you stick to actually one node... At the clip level, it's going to simplify a lot of things when you're grading. And I think this is a very nice approach to have. It's going to create more consistency. It's going to simplify a lot of things for you. So just let me know down below in the comments if you liked that video. If you want to see more so like breakdowns of looks and stuff like that, without the need of using third-party plugins, you can check my Asteroid City look recreation that I'm gonna leave somewhere, like in the corner. Just check it. And yeah, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video. Salut, prenez soin de vous.